day 27. It's another one that will be nice and easy for the Teach Thought 30 Day Reflective Teacher Challenge. Waiting at a red light. Uh uh. Waiting at a red light. Dance moves. Uh, what role do weekends and holidays play in my teaching? And this is, uh, this is something I really want to talk about because I'll get all the time from people. Well, not all the time as much from people I know because I mostly shot them down for it. But every once in a while I'll get like, Ooh, I wish I had every single holiday off. Must be nice. Never have to work any major holidays. Get the same breaks as your kids, blah, blah. Ooh, I wish I could get uh, that day off. I have to work. I have a real job. First off, censor myself, you buddy. That's just not even true. Because, like most teachers, the role that weekends and holidays play in my teaching is like one-third recovery, two-thirds. I work my face off still. I work... My entire face falls off from the amount of work that I do on almost every single weekend and holiday. There's not a single weekend that I get out of doing work. In fact, I, I do a ton of work over the weekend. That's where I can catch up on any of the grading I've been putting off, grade like any major projects that I didn't have time to get through in the week. That's where I like map out all my lesson plans for the next week. I mean, that's, yeah, holidays are the same thing. And just a ton of grading. That's where I can really look at the labs that I do and really work on perfecting what I do in the classroom. So the role that holidays play in my teaching is I pretty much work for the school district for free like most other teachers do. You're welcome. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was a little bit angrier version of the vlog than I was anticipating for uh, day whatever I said at the beginning of the video, 27, I think. Thanks for watching.